if SPF knocked on your door again and said, look, I failed in my last venture. Uh, I have a new crypto venture. I need money. Would you back him? That's a great question. No one's asked me yet. I think we can all admit you, you can love him or hate him given what's happened, but he was one of the most brilliant traders in the crypto universe. He also built one of the most robust platforms. We used FTX actively. It was a very robust platform uh, that allowed us to get information on a compliant basis. So I really like what he built. Um, would you back him? The answer would be yes. So good to know that we have learned absolutely nothing from this entire FTX collapse with Mr. Wonderful, the Shark Tank investor who got scammed because he invested in FTX, saying he's willing to get scammed again by the same guy if he wanted to raise more money. So that should just show you just how smart these guys really are who are supposed to be at the top of the game. But with this FTX collapse, you got to be asking yourself, any platform can fall. That was number two. And a good indicator to decide whether or not your platform, if you're on one, is in danger is to look at do they offer a yield product? Because if they do, then they have exposure to all this and there's a chance that they end up going down. So you can look at things like Coinbase Earn, Gemini Earn, Crypto.com has a yield type platform. If there's any way to generate yield that seems absolutely ridiculous, then it, chances are that platform is probably in danger. And with the recent news of BlockFi collapsing, that's another kind of lending platform where people had APY, gave up your crypto to try and get a yield and then lose it all because it goes bankrupt and the Ponzi collapses. All these companies are kind of intertwined together. And because FTX is such a big player, this is going to hit a lot of these guys very hard. And one of the big exchanges being talked about is crypto.com because these guys have actually had their uh, balance sheet uh, kind of revealed what they're holding to back their assets. And you can see this is their balance sheet, which is kind of crazy for $3 billion. 20% of it is in Shiba Inu, their second largest holding. So 20% of their reserves are in an absolutely illiquid trash coin, meme coin, and your money is backed by that. So if you feel comfortable with it, by all means, you know, leave your money in there, see what happens. But if you look at this and you say, it's a little unsettling that their second largest holding is a meme coin, maybe take your money out and uh, not your keys, not your coins goes a long way. And to make things even worse, the CEO of crypto.com that they accidentally sent $400 million of ETH to the wrong address. Wildly irresponsible. Get off these platforms. Couldn't say it loud enough. Get off any platform. Nothing is safe right now. You should self custody and wait it out if you ever want to use exchanges again for whatever reason. But right here, is this somebody that you want to be in charge of your money? They accidentally sent $400 million to the wrong address. They are lucky that they got that money back and they only got 90% back. Whoever they sent it to kept 10%, rightfully so, like a finder's fee. You want your money back. I'm getting something for your mistake. But if you want these type of people managing your money, you're just begging to lose it all. And it doesn't even stop there. It gets even worse. The Crypto.com CEO, their old company, was known for shutting down abruptly, suddenly, and with no prior warning. Word to the wise, take your money out while you can. All the warning signs are there. Nothing is looking good for especially Crypto.com. So if you leave your money there and you're not willing to see all these warning signs, I mean, when they go under, if they go bust, you have nobody to blame but yourself at this point. There's plenty of people saying get out while you can because you might not be able to get out at all soon. And also Genesis, a uh, lending crypto company, they are in trouble as they had large FTX exposure as well as took hits from each and every credit event this year. That's how they're all intertwined. They were also a conduit between crypto and TradFi. Surprise, no one is talking about spillover losses to TradFi lenders like Jeffries, F. Templeton, and BlackRock. So this is true. Uh, if this stuff is starting to get bigger, more mainstream and traditional finance is what TradFi is, is starting to going to be affected by this, by a crypto collapse that's going to affect traditional stuff. And I mean, the spillover could be pretty big. And we have Genesis themselves 
coming out and saying the key words that every exchange says right before they collapse, saying our number one priority is to serve our clients and preserve their assets. Therefore, in consultation with our professional financial advisors and counsel, we have taken the difficult decision to temporarily suspend redemptions and new loan originations in the lending business. I think we've all heard this before from a lot of different types of lending platforms and crypto exchanges saying they're going to suspend withdrawals temporarily, but it never ends up being temporary. And Gemini is a big user of Genesis. So if Genesis is in trouble, Gemini might be in trouble, which means Gemini could be on the verge of collapse too. So if you have money in Gemini, you might want to think about getting that out too. You can see just how really intertwined all of these platforms get because it's all a huge Ponzi that they're running with these altcoins where one produces their own coin, gives it to the other one, who gives it to another one, who lends it to a different one, then they lend it back to the original one, and they just keep circling that around. And eventually, you run out of people, new people, new money coming in, and the system collapses. That's what we're seeing right now. FTX going down, the number two exchange, billions of dollars missing. That is going to blow holes in a lot of these other crypto companies that they are not going to be recovered from. And if you are stuck in there at the wrong time, then you could lose everything alongside with them. And just the dagger to uh, Genesis that we saw happen with FTX is that Binance is interested in buying them, buying their loan book. Pretty sure Binance is interested in buying FTX too right before they pulled out and said, you know, we're going to let FTX collapse and die. So maybe this is just kind of a history repeating itself where we see Binance come to the rescue, Binance back out, and the platform collapse and fall. And just to put in perspective how big this whole thing is and how big Genesis really is, the money they're handling, you can see that not only does the withdrawal halt to more balance sheet impairment, but the lack of new loan or origination going forward will lead to a financing crunch for debtors. And you can see this is the amount of money that they handled. $8.4 billion in 2023, 2022 Q3 loans, $2.8 billion of total active loans, $18.7 billion in derivatives, and $9.6 billion in spot volume. So they are not a little small exchange, kind of nothing to impact. They are dealing with billions and multi-billions of dollars, just like FTX, and with them halting withdrawals and collapsing, I mean, who are they connected to? Who are they going to pull down with them? This is going to get much worse, and it's not. It's just getting started right now. And one of the people that they might be connected to is USDC, one of the largest stable coins on the planet. And you can see here, circle, the issue of USDC has reduced its rate on short-term lending from 0.25% yesterday to 0% following the halting of withdrawals from Genesis. And uh, you can see, it's just not a really great story. The current rates were quarter of a percent for one month, three month, and then now everything 0%, you're not getting the yield on anything, everything is broken, and this is one of the biggest stable coins in the world, so if they fall down, I mean, it's it's going to hurt, a lot of people are going to feel it. So it is ridiculous the amount of commingling that happened between every exchange on the planet, basically, so that's why right now, everyone is preaching, not your keys, not your coins, if you, don't, if you have your coins on any exchange, it's in danger right now because the amount that these guys were intertwined and relied on each other to prop up the scheme, I mean, it's all falling down now. You see the two biggest players, FTX falling, tens of billions of dollars that they handled, Genesis falling, tens of billions of dollars that they handled. Who are they intertwined with? Whoever they are, maybe they can't handle the losses and those fall. And then who are they intertwined with? So you can see how far it could go down and almost everything could be impacted from this. So if you have crypto, take it off all exchanges. Doesn't matter if it's Coinbase, Gemini could be in danger. It, I mean, I don't even know. May, even Binance, take it off. Anywhere that anything that's not your own self-storage where you have the keys and you can't get it taken away from you is the only safe play right now. But that's going to do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in my next video.